how to de-radicalize Gaza. Now he says, yeah, if y'all want peace, okay, but you gotta. That was a too radical. Gaza, we can't be neighbors until you stop being, we like, can't have peace until, you know. But number one, we delete Hamas. <laughs> All right. That, that's stupid statement, stupid lie that is. And we de-radicalize. You're too radical. You guys are savages. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Barbaric, guys. Wow. You wake up in the morning in Gaza, you grab a spear, right? And since Israel cut off, you know, they banned down and stuff like that. So you can't eat a normal breakfast. And here are the 20 most surprising things that are banned from Gaza. And even jam, all banned. Isn't it obvious jam rhymes with ham? You get it? Hamas. Ah. And you know, options is limited on what goes in, what comes out. But since you're anti semi, right? In Gaza, ooh, 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 ah, 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 savagery. You can't be messing with them, right? Stay away from that big wall with the cameras. And, ooh. So you go back into the nature in Gaza. Because you're a barbaric savage, right? And you grab that spear, remember? And you hunt that animal. Oh, once you hit the animal, you go, ah, Allah Akbar. De radicalize Gaza. If you really want the solution, Benjamin Netanyahu, you're the same person. Before I tell you the real solution, before I tell you the solution, you're, you're the same person that openly admitted to uh, uh, funding Hamas. You pride yourself in being Mr. Security. That's your thing. Right? Mr. Security, your surveillance and, 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 and like black hat, white hat under the table, hacking stuff, surveillance, and you test it out on the <laughs> Gaza is your literally like uh, lab rats of humans, animals, right? The barbaric savages. So we can just test out. So they test your surveillance uh, hacking technology on them. I kid you not. Hebrew machine. It's like, what the fuck, bro? You pride yourself in being Top Gun, Mr. Security, the Rambo. Uh, 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 one, one bullet, two kills, pregnant woman, all that. And you telling me that you were asleep and your idea of the big bad bully, the biggest army in the region, and if not the world. It took six hours to respond. And you got the most haters in the area. I tell you like this. I got a lot of haters in my city because I'm doing the biggest, baddest, even if my numbers don't show. But I know I got haters. And I move accordingly. So you are the filthy existence, the entity that you are. I don't, you're not a country. You're, let's keep it real. You're a terror group. We'll get into that. Sitting amongst everybody that hates you. The only reason you're not getting popped is because of that Cap David BS. And other reasons you know very well. We're going to defeat Hamas. Listen, even if you killed everybody in there, all two million, you would not defeat Hamas. Anonymous hacking. You remember Anonymous? We are Anonymous. Um... A lot of old people, a lot of people just in general, thought that uh, even the feds, they imagine Anonymous is like a room full of like uh, six kids, a punk. They even made video games like Watch Dogs and stuff. Not that, not that that doesn't exist, but these boys ain't hacking. These boys are just cool people who support the cypherpunk movement. They're good. They're, like, they're hackers, sure. But um, Anonymous was not, it wasn't a group. Nobody knew each other. Like, there was this dude on Instagram. You know, I had it on Anonymous in my picture. He like, yeah, he keep calling me out like he know more about it, son. What, do you, what did you do for Anonymous? Don't tell me. Because if you really did something, it's a federal. It's, a federal. it's like, you going to admit on the internet? That's how I know you bullshit. 
It is what it is. What I'm trying to tell you is anonymous is an idea. We're not sitting up here together like we're planning the attack, the terrorist attack Sunday, Monday. Nah, bro. It all started around Scientology. I was running around there. I didn't give a fuck about no Scientology to keep it real. I was, I was, I lived in the third, second world. Really. Yeah, like anonymous is an idea. When, when, when WikiLeaks. By the way, free Julian. He's still in jail. I don't know why. Hunted down. <laughs> like he's El Chapo, nah, bro. When they took down WikiLeaks, and remember the visa. We condemn WikiLeaks. We condemn Hamas. They cut down um, the ways to donate to WikiLeaks via Visa, Mastercard. And Anonymous came and taught him a lesson. In the streets, caught him a lack and hit him down bad. What up, man? Zuby. So subscribe to my boy. That was Anonymous is an activist movement, it's not a group. It's like, okay, this thing happened, it's bad. Y'all come protest in the form of a hack. Yeah, we are going to hit you with a DDoS. I might be in Arabia. You might be in, in, in Yugoslavia. You might be in the Kazakhstan. United uh, Arab Emirates. United States. We are coming together for a cause. If we are coming to hit them on the head, visa, on their head, Mastercard. Who's who? Who's a criminal? Really? <laughs> it was a movement thing. It started off on 4chan. I'm not saying I did. I'm just telling you how it works. Hamas. I'm seeing it's the same thing. I speak Arabic very well. <laughs> I lived in Arab countries too. Ha. Let me write it down. This is ha. And it's not connected. It looks like this. This is meme. Ah. Uh, ha. H. M. M. The Arabic you go from this way to that way. Like this is like. Anyway. Ha is Haraka. He is Mokawa. What? What is Ah, it's just uh, a so the L means the the L in Arabic. So the means the L in the Connected when you move this part of the brain. Anyway, so I have seen it means Islamic. Islamic. I'm going to explain to you the radicalization of it. So, haraka, this is the most important part. Haraka means movement. Doesn't mean group. ISIS was what? Islamic State. The focus was state. They had a different. Formation. This is not a formation. This is an idea. This is a movement. So when you get asked to condemn Hamas, you condemn Hamas. What the? F what are you talking about? Do you know? Coincidentally, right? Coincidentally, Hamas by itself. You know what it means when it's not an abbreviation. It means being. Hypeness or hype. So, the song is Hamas. Yeah, I'm hyped up. Ooh, I'm like, shit, Hamas, why are you so hyped up? I want, I 
I'll be sure that my so I'm on a song, say that check that. Now I'm gonna be afraid to say that in public, thanks to the the white folks. <laughs> There will be a thousand Hamas. I said this before. I said it again. I'm pro Hamas. No apologies. No condemn nothing. You and we've all clearly seen your eyes. Don't lie. You've been giving people pain. You want them to de-radicalize. You got them in a box. They can't go out. They can't do that. You control their drink and their food. Every time they're only. <laughs> way out they gotta go through a big wall thousand cameras ivf already bullying people all day every day nobody cares for them i've seen thousands of videos prior to this study for years white people don't see it moving on how you want to de-radicalize here's how you do it when life is good people are ungrateful by nature like that Get, get a girl. Give her everything. She gonna, she gonna, she gonna do you dirty. Humans are just nature. When life is good, you don't think about God. But that's you thinking you tough. Yeah, okay, man. You you a B word. What you gonna do? You come up with uh, next thing you know, you got a bullet in you. Hypothetical. And now you're in the hospital. God help me. I will never be arrogant again. This is human nature. Being from Arabia, I mentioned God and good and bad. Even when I was an atheist, it's a culture thing. We'll talk later about what I think about God. But let's examine this academically. Not an opinion matter. These people, you put them in a box. They tried the safe, the nice way. Let's go safely, yeah. They go peaceful protest, West Bank, under the Palestinian Authority, which is Israel with an Arab face, a puppet. They tried that, it didn't work. They tried everything, it didn't work. Pulled out your soldiers, but you control their drinking water. You control, you control down to the, how many calories a person eat per day. And then you want to sit around and be like, we pulled out a guy, eh? Yeah, I pulled out of my, this girl. But I happened to nut before I... Let's focus. Keep giving them pain. Pain. You give a person pain, you pull out, then they're going to start healing from that pain. As they cope, they need reasons to cope. Some people might just you know, why? you see how IDF soldiers and white folks be, I got PTSD. I'm just gonna pat my no offense to anybody who you know, I'm not trying to clown you f to make fun of your pain. I'm trying to prevent future uh don't do it. But the reason my folks are they're so quick to I wanna kill myself, uh, I spent the month killing women and children. Now I'm traumatized. Uh hmm? Look at Gaza. They don't flinch. They say Alhamdulillah. Now, what what I think about the religion, aside no biases, religion is strong there for a reason. If it was like Israel, life was good. They don't care about it. So it's just like you don't care about. It. Judaism so much, Mr. Jewish State. You got the LGBT running around. What part of Judaism is that? I'm not judging. I'm for the rights. But I'm just asking. Life is good. That's why your soldiers are pussycat. Yeah. But over there, they're hanging on by thread. <laughs> not only you put them through living hell, and a concentration camp and open air prison. You got them demonized. Currently killing everybody, women, children. What the fuck? You're justifying it to your folks and the white folks who let you do it. And it's fine. A veto. Now he got to keep doing it. Anti Semite, anti Semite. 
We're just gonna kill them all and take the last Amalek. Amalek, Amalek, Fico Summa. So you put them through this nightmare day and night, day and night. Nobody feels bad for them. If they wanted to leave the land and let you have it, they can't. You just try to lock them and exterminate them. On some Hitler shit. And you want me to condemn Hamas? I condemn nothing about Hamas. The heroes. You put them in this misery. And you expect them to be what? Atheists? I wonder about the universe. They don't got the way. You drop. You got PTSD. You got the luxury to sit and acknowledge that. Uh, I think it's my PTSD. Nigga, they don't even have the, 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 the time to acknowledge what they have. They have bombs dropping day and night. So yeah, God, of course, going to play a part. Whether it was Christianity or any religion. God is prevalent in these tough times. So if you was if your goal is to de-radicalize, as if that's the problem with, with them anyway, you know, <laughs> if the pain stops, I wrote down you you can begin to heal. But if it doesn't stop, you hit me, cut. Mm, it hurts. Now I gotta heal. I'm healing. Now I gotta cope. Whatever you do to cope. True. And um, this is healing. Now it's healed. I'm back. Hey. Uh -uh. I can still cope with his booty. But if I cut, 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 cut. How am I going to heal like that? That's, that's too much. It's not natural to be cut like this. No stop, you will continue to need to cope. And the basic things you have to keep a normal human being coping, you know, such as uh, a cut. Ah, uh, babe, you hurt yourself. Uh, now it's better. But you strip them away from sympathy, basic sympathy. You got people calling them terrorists. What the fuck is a terrorist? We'll talk about that next week. So you're going to need a big, big, big uh, hope to keep it going. And God enters the chat. But that's the solution. Right? But I want you to remember before I let you go. Is your problem them being radical? Is them being Muslim? Is that the issue? That's keeping you from making peace. I thought Hamas was terrorists. I called them that in the beginning. The more I got to see them, they're not very... The members are religious themselves, but they use it as a disciplined thing. And so to However, Palestine has Christians. What are you talking about? You bomb churches using... The Amalek bullshit to justify the bullshit to bombing churches. So what are you talking about? But Islam is your easy card. Islam terrorists, thank you. Sir. By the way, YouTube team made a very good video about the family of Osama bin Elward. Osama bin, you know, his family, not him. I didn't mention that, that stuff. The demonetizing. I'm gonna request the review. I just wanted to say this. Make sure you hit the like button, smash subscribe, hit like, smash subscribe, share, share, share. I'm suppressed by Bussy11 in Canada, so I need extra help. I am mentally, I have family in the war zone. I had to bring myself to do this. You can look at my face and tell how I feel. I don't fake it for what? Fuck with the now, he's a bitch. If I see him, I'll make his wife suck my dick. What are you gonna do about it? Send him aside, I'll send him back. In the body bag. Fuck you think this is? The problem was never Judaism and Islam, but you make it like that so you play the victim. You got used to playing the victim since the Holocaust. 
But let me tell you right now, that shit don't work. The white people buy it, I don't give a fuck. Because one thing about it, you wasn't even alive during the Holocaust. You didn't even go through Holocaust, motherfucker. They keep saying that, well, the Jews got expelled from the Arab land. False, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody kicked you out. You left willingly. And you know why you left? Under Arab uh, civilization or rules, you live happiest. I'll save it. Go watch my old video. Go watch my next video. Hit like, smash, subscribe. Uh, uh, disagree, disagree in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. I'm an open book. They might kill me. So make use while I'm here and talk to me. Not Hollywood, I read shit, nigga. My head out, I will go some of the hell.